Dímelo mi gente, que lo que, welcome back to a, a new video So in this video, um, as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to show you guys how to do a Dominican blowout I came up with this idea because um, in my mommy self care video, I hit like my Dominican blowout with my Dyson And I'm like, hmm, maybe I should do a Dominican blowout all right, let's do a Dominican blowout. So, you guys know that I have my Dyson Airwrap. If you do know, if you don't know, go back to my videos. I do have a video um, in, on my channel on how to use my Dyson Airwrap or how at least I use my Dyson Airwrap. But for the sake of this video, because I know that not everybody has a Dyson Airwrap. But if you don't, you know, you might want to invest in one because it's like... You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty worth it. You'll get your money's your money's worth out of it. <laughs> um but for the sake of this video, I am going to use my oldie but goodie. All right? This is the this is the OG of the Dominican blowout and it is just a handy dandy regular degula blow dryer. So, this is my um twin turbo okay baby this is you go to the dominican salon this is by conair by the way um you go to any dominican salon this is what they have this is what they have okay um so it's just your regular degula um blow dryer i don't even know if people are like do you guys you know are you guys familiar with this i know in every dominican household i can say very very confidently any dominican household has this gadget right here all right this is the holy grail the og dominican blow dryer dominican blowout tool right here okay baby you can't go wrong with the dominican blow dryer okay so like i said that is by con air so obviously we're going to be using this bad boy to dry our hair today and some other accessories that i will be using in today's video is um a hair clip just to keep the hair i am not currently drying at the moment up and away from whatever i'm drying out a wide tooth comb and i have here two of my favorite um like blow dryer brushes so one is from wet and wild and then this one is like a no name brand which i probably got a long time ago but uh, these are my current two favorite um, blow dryer brushes so or roller brushes. I don't know what to call these. So if you guys got the proper name to these, let me know in the link. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. And um, for products, I only like to use one type of product in my hair. And today we are using it's a 10 um miracle leave-in product so this pretty much let me just run down real quick what this bad boy does for your hair okay this is the why i only use this one product i do sometimes alternate between my olaplex um number six leave-in conditioner and this but this is what i pretty much use every single time i blow dry my hair so um this inhabits dry damaged hair adds shine detangles control frizz seals and protects hair color helps prevent split ends inhabits hair breakage create slickness silkiness i'm sorry um enhances natural body because you know for that dominican blowout you need that body um and flat iron spraying and thermal protection so this is a heat protector all in one and it does all those 10 things that i just read in the back you can get these i got this one this is like a special edition i got this one from marshall's because you guys know i'm always in marshall's looking at stuff you could get the regular one um in marshall's as, as well but again cvs any drugstore um will have this and they also have one with keratin in it so let's just keep this moving along and show you guys what i do one other thing um being that my hair tends to dry pretty pretty quickly um i also like to have a you know a spray bottle near me filled with water just in case i need to just add some more some more 
moisture because um if you guys seen my mommy self-care video i do mention in that video that i like to like dry my hair when it's the like when it's damp um just because i get to have more control over it so yeah my hair is freshly washed it doesn't have any product in it um and it's like i want to say like 50 percent wet right now so i am going to try to just damp it a little bit more damn pero yo soy yo, yo me veo buena loca mira mira me sonrisa with nothing in my hair with nothing in my hair because dime where they do that at? <laughs> um anyways so yeah i'm just gonna wet this a little bit and i am no way in any form shape or whatever a professional at blow drying hair um this is just my technique and what works with me and how uh, you know what you know what makes it comfortable for me so like i said disclaimer i am not a um hairstylist professional hairstylist or anything this is just how i like to do my blow out my dominican blow out <laughs> so i just like to take um my it's a 10 miracle cream and i just like to just dab it onto my hand before i apply it to my hair so ah, this sprays everywhere baby so this is what it looks like it looks like a, a lotion consistency um and to me a little goes a long way again i have thinner my hair is more on the thinner side so I don't really gotta get too crazy and i don't do like i don't put it i don't put this product on my roots i really try to stay away from putting anything on my roots just because i don't want any products weighing my hair down i like to focus on the middle and the tips more so than anything and i just like to pass this along and this also like i said it provides heat protectant so you can do you can apply this product on and like um you can apply this product on blow dry your hair and and fly flat iron and no protect it um some people like to go the extra mile and apply like a spray on heat protectant but i don't do all of that because i don't really um I don't really flat iron my hair like that and this smells really i like the smell of it like i like the smell of this it's a 10. um this one is a special edition and i've it's it the scent is a little bit different from the blue one but even with the blue one which i do also have um it i i like the scent like the scent smells nice fresh and clean so after i go ahead and i apply my it's a 10 miracle cream i like to go with my wide tooth comb and just brush my hair out just to make sure that there's no tangles in it because if you guys know and if you guys have curly hair your curly hair tends to tangle out of the blue at least mine does so i like to just go in and just pass it this also helps distribute the product a little better so i like to do that just make sure there's no knots and there we go so now i'm just parting my hair i don't have a specific way on how to part my hair i just start from the bottom up and yeah i might add just a little bit of more water just for it to be a little more damp so i can have more control of it And with my clip, I go ahead and clip on this because right now I'm just going to focus on this right here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wet it a little bit more. Just so that I can have more control of that volume that I'm going to add. 
All right, so after I split that up, the bottom from the top, I like to go ahead and split it from side to side just so that I can make sure that I get everything all dry and I don't miss any pieces. So I'm going to start off with this brush. You can use any brush that you are comfortable with, obviously. Um, but I'm going to start off with my Wet n Wild round brush. Sometimes I do my hair with this brush alone because it is um, a smaller brush. And being that my hair is shorter, I get to have more of a curl control. And that's what we want for If you know, the Minigan Blowout tends to have a lot of volume in it. Um, and the smaller the brush, the more volume you have. So just um so you guys could know what exactly i'm doing i like to just take my brush and go under my hair my little section right here and i like to just you know grip it up a bit and i have my blow dryer and i like for it to go downward so that i'm not creating any frizz um and then as i'm going down i am rotating the brush to create that curl effect so that's pretty much what i am going to be doing I don't know if you guys can see it because you know my hair is kind of blending in with my shirt but you see that curl that's because I keep rotating the brush at the end um, and doing the blow dry which is why I like to have my hair damped because I have more control of how that curl comes out as opposed to the hair already being dry and having a shape already it takes like a little more work to create that shape when it's already dry so I'm just going to be doing the same thing for this side. And yeah. Alrighty, so this is what this side is looking like and I also wanted to mention to you guys by gripping your hair with your brush and just like sh just pulling on it like you see how I have it gripped right there and just bringing the blow dryer up to your roots that also helps with um, straightening your roots. Because sometimes, I know that like when I first started blow drying my hair, I used to miss my roots a lot. And even then, and even now, I tend to um, kind of like not grip my roots so much. Because um, it's pretty, you know, it's kind of difficult unless you're like, you know, accustomed to it, which I am now. But um, I still tend to miss the like the real, real roots. Um, but that is a pretty good trick. Just go ahead and grip your hair up. And just pull it and just make sure that you're getting um, your roots right there. So now that we are done with the bottom, like I said, my hair. I can blow dry my hair within 15 to 20 minutes. Um, depending on how intentional I'm being. Because sometimes I'll let my hair all out and just dry it out. Um, and then like sometimes just put it up wrap it up in a doobie and it'll catch a shape um if i'm really in a rush and i need to have my hair done for the day but i can do it like that or i like to do it in sections because i get more out of just being more intentional with it, with it. i hope i'm making sense to you guys so i go ahead again and Split my hair up. Now I'm a little bit obviously more higher. And 
my parts aren't really all that you know all that precise and all that you know fancy dancy but like i said this is what works for me i know like how to do it now you know this is what works for me you guys do what works for you i know uh, especially in the dominican salon um they like to like section your hair very intentionally um and then put it up and just take piece by piece but i ain't got the time to do that but if you have the time to do that and that works best for you do what works best for you and i'm just gonna going to again split it down in the middle so i can have a left side and a right side and i'm just gonna be doing the same technique that i showed you guys for the bottom So another thing that also works for me is, especially when I start getting up higher um, and I do want to add just that like just more volume, I just go ahead and I have my brush upward like this and I start rotating it towards my face and I'll go ahead and take the dryer and just aim it that same direction you still want to aim it down because again you don't want to blow dry your hair upward because that's just gonna create frizziness and that's not what we want here we want volume but no frizz so again i'll put my brush upward like this rotate towards my face and i'll take my blow dryer and go down like that And now again the same thing for this side right here um if anything let me see how i do i gotta figure it out so yeah same thing if just to create more volume i'll go ahead and have the brush upward and this time i'm still rotating it the same way but being that it's on this side it's just rotating it outward like that curling and just blow drying it from this direction and then i also go ahead and flip it upside down just so that i can go ahead and get that brush underneath and then i'm over with the blower with the blow dryer up here on top and if you guys feel like your hair is already too dry like i feel like my hair is a little more on the drier side um go ahead don't be scared to add some water because at the end of the day it's gonna dry up once you're passing it so i'm just adding a little bit more water just to damp it up a little bit more so i can have that that damp look so i can have more of a control on how the wave is gonna look and you can go ahead with your brush and then just comb it through make sure it's wet enough to your liking and i keep switching over my mirror because you know you know i'm trying to see what i'm doing so there you go okay so once you are all set you might just want to go ahead and let your hair set in for a little bit because it's gonna be pretty hot as soon as you um stop blow drying it but you want to go ahead and make sure that you're not feeling any like curly roots if your hair is curly i like to just before i go and move on to the next section i just want to make sure that these roots are down and stretched and straightened out so i'll go ahead and do that make sure that i got everything i don't have being that i damped it up a little bit i just want to make sure that there is no wet little areas because then you're gonna have to go back and just pass the blow dryer again over it 
so yeah so as we get to the top i kind of switch it up a bit i still do the uh, sides um so i'll just go ahead and split it up here one side and then the other side so now I pretty much have three sections and I'm just going to wrap this up. So I'll just go ahead and again two sides and I'm going to use the same technique that I've been using from the bottom once i get up to the top i switch it up a bit um just to add the type of volume that i like but i'll show you guys once we get there and i feel like again my hair is drying up a little bit so i'm just going to add a little bit of more moisture more water all right so as i'm getting to the top being that these um hairs are gonna show a little more and i really want to get that straight in Look, I really want to like straighten out these curls. I like to go ahead, take the brush and go over the top of my head, grip it up and then blow dry it just to make sure that my roots are getting straight. Alrighty, so this is pretty much what it's a given. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for this side. Alright, and I always still have some flyaways because this is like regrowth from my postpartum hair loss from my first baby, but... We'll be alright, you know? We'll be alright. Alright, it's worse are things in this world. Alright, and again, just making sure that the back, that you covered up the back. And, yeah. So, you see that shininess? That's that? It's a tan miracle cream, okay? It, it provides that shininess to your hair as well. Alright. So now we're going to get started for the top. So with the top, I like to go ahead and start from the front to the back. So I'm just going to make sure that it's detangled. I'm going to definitely add more water because this is dry. So let me just add water. So now that it's nice and damp, just go ahead and just make sure that you also want to make sure that the tips are nice and wet because you want that curl effect in the end. So I like to dry my hair from the front to the back because I like to dry my hair forward. And then once I'm complete, then throw it all back. And this is just um, a technique that you can use to create more volume. So I go ahead and I split my hair. Just like that. And then I go ahead and twist this up. like that and clip it back up so i like to dry my hair as if i have bangs clearly i don't have bangs because my hair is pretty long 
but I like to take the brush and put it underneath the hair grip it so I can get a really good um so I can stretch out my roots really good and just draw, blow dry it from the top like this. And again with the same technique just going forward just drying the hair downward like that. So again, it looks like I have overgrown um, uh, bangs. So again, like I said, working myself from the front to the back. I'm just going to split my hair up again. And whoops, you guys see what I mean about curly hair? Tangled. I'm going to get this piece out the way. Make sure that this piece right here is not tangled. And again, with the same technique, just blow drying it forward. I'm just blow drying it forward. And last but not least, the final piece. Okay, so after your hair is dried at the top, again, just filling it out, making sure you didn't miss any spots. Go ahead and throw your hair back. And this is exactly what I'm looking for, right? The fact that you blow dry the top of your hair forward creates this type of volume. So shebang, baby. <laughs> so you are going to want to make sure that your wide tooth comb brush is dry. And I like to do a, a middle part. And there you go. That is the volume that I always try to... This is the volume that I always try to aim for when I am blow drying my hair. And I also do this with my Dyson. I like to um, dry my hair on top, forward, and then push it back. I also go in a little bit just to maybe tone it down just so that the hair can stay out of my face, just to the side, but not too much. So I'll show you guys right now. Alrighty, so here you go. So like I said, I am gonna have, I do have a little bit of flyaways because I have hair still coming in, but it's okay. But this is the volume that I be trying to achieve at all, all times. So you can go ahead, just make sure once again that you didn't miss any spots. Just play with your hair a little bit. Not too much because you don't want it to get greasy, greasy. I know I just parted in the middle, but I'm okay with like just having like my hair just fall naturally as well. I like to also wear my hair a lot to the side. And again, if you dry it forward, it will have that volume. 
all right guys so there you have it for my dominican blowout using the og blow dryer and this is how the final look turned out so if you like this video go ahead give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at smack talk danny don't forget to listen to my podcast on spotify smack talk danny and i'll see you guys in the next one bye